After the assault on the Capitol, Washington, D.C. and state capitals around the country are on high alert. Just a few hours ago, Kansas Governor Laura Kelly shut down the Capitol complex in Topeka. The state house itself will remain open for session, but the state office buildings will be closed tomorrow and Wednesday. Now, the governor says the move is being made out of an, ab an abundance of caution. Tonight, KCTV5 has team coverage of the preparations being made at the state capitol buildings in Kansas and Missouri. Our Leslie Aguilar is in Jefferson City, but we start with KCTV5's Emily Rittman in Topeka. Public access is restricted at the Kansas State House through January 22nd. There will also be an increased law enforcement presence. Access to the State House will be limited to only those having business before the legislature and the governor's office, which means anyone entering the building will be vetted and will need to provide an email showing proof they have a meeting or are providing testimony before a legislative committee. Our sister station, WIBW, is reporting one group has applied for a permit to gather on Inauguration Day, but that permit is not finalized. KCTV5 News will check with Kansas Capitol Police to learn if the permit is approved. The Kansas State House garage will also be closed and will only be accessible to those with a security pass. Reporting from Topeka, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. For now, the Missouri State Capitol remains open for business. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar is in Jefferson City. Right now, Jefferson City looks as it always does. No barricades or barbed wire like we're seeing in Washington, D.C., but just because we don't see the increased security does not mean it's not there. Missouri Capitol Police would not share specific details of their security plans for obvious reasons, but say they are in constant communication with national and regional Homeland Security personnel. The Capitol closed early today, but that's due to the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. It will open for its usual visitor hours the rest of the week, including Inauguration Day. The Missouri Senate will be in session on Wednesday, and the governor has a planned press conference here that afternoon as well. The House is not in session this week, but that's because of COVID, not security concerns. Since the Capitol riots in D.C., there have been increased staffing here at the state capitol, including highway patrol officers and state park rangers. The Missouri governor's office has this message for those planning demonstrations on Wednesday. People have a right to peacefully protest, but protesters who violate the law must be held accountable. Missouri did send National Guard troops to Washington, D.C. to help with security there. They also sent them this past summer for civil rights protests. Reporting in Jefferson City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.